Hello and thank you for watching Forward, the television show exclusively for your Mississippi State University College of Education. Later on today's episode, you'll hear from one of our alumni, Ashley Hamby, who was recently crowned Miss Mississippi USA. And to begin today, we have Sophie Kershaw of the NRTC. How are you doing this morning? I'm great, thank you. Good. Now, most people don't really know what the NRTC is, so why don't you tell us a little bit about it first? Well, yes, the NRTC is the National Research and Training Center on Blindness and Low Vision. Um, we are the only federally funded um, center that focuses on employment outcomes of individuals who are blind or have uh, visual impairments. We are housed since 1981 in the <laughs> yes. College of Education and we are located in the historic Industrial Education Building. Wow, well we are very proud to have you in the College of Education and the NRTC just reached a major milestone. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. In October we were very excited to celebrate our 35th anniversary. As I said, we were established in 1981 um, through some federal funding, grant funding, and our mission is really to um, enhance employment outcomes and independent living for individuals who have blindness or low vision um, to make sure that you know, they get the same um, opportunities as everybody else. Right, right. well um, there is so much work that goes on throughout the NRTC and how is that made possible? Well most of the work that we do is through grant funding. We um, have many opportunities to receive competitive grants and over the years we have received over 31 million dollars in grant funding including two recent grants awarded um, at the end of 2015 um, totaling over seven million dollars and those two grants uh, the first one is through NIDLER it's the National Institute on Disability Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research and that is um, research focused upon employment outcomes um, of those individuals who are blind and visually impaired. And then the second grant is through the Re Rehabilitation Services Administration um, under the U.S. Department of Education. And that is focusing on um, independent living of older individuals who are blind that we know as OIB. And so the OIB TAC, uh, we are establishing a website and community of practice, and we'll have a lot of resources for service providers to be able to make sure that they're providing the correct services the correct ways through their agencies. Well, that is incredible. I know you mentioned it's so important for those who are blind and have low vision to have the same work opportunities as everyone else on our campus. Yes. I know you've helped people here directly on campus as well. So what are some of the other things that you do besides research at the NRTC? Well, besides research, a, a large part of what we do is training and technical assistance. So everything from our website providing continuing education to service providers or individuals such as yourself if you're interested in learning more about blindness and low vision if um, say you have a family member you'd like to be more informed as to what they may be going through or services that they may have available to them you can look on our website at a a plethora of resources on there. <laughs> Everything from continuing education to transportation resources, employment resources, perhaps um, student transition going from school age into the workforce. These are all really important resources we have available as well as publications. With our research, we have regular publications coming out and those are all available on our website. Wow, well what's a way we can contact you to learn more information about the center and of course just to gain as much knowledge as we'd like about it? Absolutely, well anyone can visit our website it's an easy one to remember, <laughs> blind.msstate.edu. And on our website, um, there's an About Us tab. And if you click on that, you can get our contact information and reach out to any of our team members with any questions. Um, also on our website is a link to our Technical Assistance Center website, where you can ask an expert if you have just a specific question, whether it's a general question or something you know really important for you, you can reach out to us and we'll answer those questions for you. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Sophie. It was great to hear. That's just a small glimpse about the NRTC. They really do have some amazing research coming out of that center, and we're so proud to have them in the College of Education as they're one of the only places in the United States that does research such as this. So we'll be back in a few. Flight. It's driven mankind's dreams for centuries. The ability to soar above the earth 
to travel to faraway places, to connect distant points. Manned flights to the moon and space were once the stars for which we reached. Now, unmanned aircraft are the future. At Mississippi State University, our teams are developing unmatched unmanned aircraft systems for an array of critical applications. We're so good at it, the Federal Aviation Administration named MSU the center of excellence in the field, asking us to lead the team that's creating the operating regulations for unmanned aircraft systems worldwide. So we're writing the flight plan for an industry that is the future. Our work means better information, more opportunity, and limitless horizons for you. The sky really is the only limit. The Octobana County Humane Society is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We were established in 1978 and revitalized in 1997. And we were established based on everybody should treat uh, their animals humanely. And um, what we do is we run the City of Startville Animal Shelter. We take in about 2,000 animals each year, but we also reach out to those community members that need to get their pets fixed through our low-cost spay neuter programs. We are very grateful for the funding that we receive from the United Way. Um, we use those funds to care for our animals that we have here in the shelter, as well as um, they go to help also support those programs that we offer to our community members. Having that support with the United Way, um, it, it helps us provide more care for animals. Um, the more funding we have, the more we're able to help support our community. Without them, our, our efforts to, to make all of this happen would not be possible. Welcome back, and thank you again for watching Forward. Our second guest on today's episode is a dear friend of mine, Miss Ashley Hamby. She's Miss Mississippi USA. Hello, Ashley. Hello. <laughs> well, congratulations on thank your recent you. crowning. Was it November you were crowned? Uh, the end of October. So. End of October. Yes, wow. not very long ago. And you graduated when from the College of Education here? 2015. And what was your major? Elementary education. Okay, so we have a future teacher on yes, our hands. Yes. And you're currently in graduate school? I am. I'm currently in graduate school pursuing my Master's of Education in School Counseling. Great. Yeah. So that's wonderful to hear. So what made you decide to get into the Miss Mississippi USA competition? I competed in Miss Mississippi a couple of times when I was younger and I took a few years break because I really wanted to come back and be ready for this job as Miss Mississippi USA because it's truly a job. It's a lot of work, a lot of um, hard work and ethic that goes into it. So I really wanted to be prepared for it. And so when I decided to do it this year, I gave it everything that I had in my power. I worked extremely hard and uh, yeah. now I'm ready for the job and I love having this crown and this title. That's so exciting. We're proud to have you Thank from the you. College of Education. What does it mean to you to kind of represent the state and Mississippi State University and just everything you've been a part of throughout the years? It's absolutely amazing. It's a dream come true. I think it's something I've worked for for so long. So it still feels super surreal to me. But it's such an amazing experience and I cannot wait to go to Miss USA and represent my state. And actually the weekend after I was crowned, I was invited to uh, go to the I'll go on the field at the Mississippi State Texas A&M football game oh, awesome. and be introduced and we won that game so yes. maybe, <laughs> maybe I was a good luck charm I don't know maybe well that's that's so incredible. Mississippi State representing Mississippi State and representing Mississippi is a dream come true so the Miss USA pageant will be televised and held when it, it will be televised and held this summer we don't know the location or the date yet so we're still waiting to find out but definitely this summer so what are you doing now to prepare for that competition? Right now we are just getting hair, this sounds crazy, but my hair perfect and my teeth perfect, that sounds insane, but it's true. <laughs> and we have a lot of wonderful, wonderful sponsors that are getting me ready because a lot of photo shoots are coming up because of photo deadlines for Miss USA. Mm -hmm. And then after the new year, it'll really start a lot of interview prep, working out a lot, and just getting myself as prepared as I can be to go to Miss USA. Well, I think you're gonna do a tremendous job. Thank and we you. can't wait to watch. I'm, we'll be sure. I'm very promote. excited. <laughs> now, you said you majored in elementary education and you're currently doing um, educational psychology. Yes. So after the crown, where do you see yourself? Do you want to be in the classroom or? I I've always wanted to pursue and get my master's degree, so I wanted to do that immediately after I graduated with my undergrad. I do want to teach one day. I've, even with an uh, education psych back, uh, master's, mm -hmm. I do want to be in a classroom and teach one day. My love is for teaching. I just wanted to 
branch out and do something a little different in the education field, but my heart's definitely in teaching. Well, that's great to hear, and we know we'll, you'll be a great teacher. Yes, I love, I love teaching. Now, you've been quite involved with some community service. I know today we'll actually be visiting the yes. TK Martin Center, so we can't wait to have you there. Um, so what else do you kind of do community service-wise? Well, my passion and my platform with this crown and with this title is literacy in Mississippi. It's a, it's a huge problem in Mississippi, and it's something that's very dear to my heart with my education background. So I want to get into as many schools as possible and promote a very rich literacy environment and promote um, a love for reading for these children. So hopefully when they see somebody with a sparkly crown on with a love for reading, then it will make other children want to um, read as well. Well, I definitely think it will. Thank so you. what else were you involved in whenever you were here at Mississippi State? I was, Paige and I were in the same sorority. <laughs> and so I was definitely um, involved in the Greek life here at Mississippi State and also in a lot of the community service projects around here, such as um, Relay for Life and um, Habitat for Humanity. Those were two very big um, community Great. service projects I was involved in. Great. Well, the summer national pageant, yes. we cannot wait to watch you. Again, we're so proud. In Thank addition you. to your title, the College of Education also is home to Miss Hospitality, Mary Elizabeth Stringer, and Miss Mississippi, Laura Lee Lewis. Yeah, we so, have everybody right here. <laughs> triple threat, yes, triple crown, absolutely. you can literally say. So that's great. And again, we're so glad to have you today. Best of luck in Thank the competition. Thank you so much. Thanks for having we me. We look forward to having you. And I definitely think um, through this through this title, you're going to gain some very, very knowledgeable experience and you're going to make a wonderful teacher one day. Thank so, you. Thank this is what it's all about here in the College of Education, having these great teachers and future educators, and just people who will influence the lives of others daily. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. To learn more about the College of Education, you can visit our website, educ.msstate.edu. Thank you.